Hello, it's Mr. Obi. I'm going to tell you about work done. Work done is force times by distance. You can do work against gravity if you're moving something upwards. Note, you don't do any work if you are dropping the object because gravity does the work for you. Sorry about the loud bang. Or you do work against friction if you're moving an object horizontally. Because friction will try to slow it down. Here's an object, a big box of physics books. Lots to be learned in there. I'll pull that box using this Newton meter. And I'll measure the distance. I'll pull it using that ruler. I've pulled it a distance of 50 centimeters. With an average pull force of 34 newtons. The equation for work done is force times by distance. Force is in newtons, distance is in meters, work done is in newtons meters, not newtons per meter. So you'd never count against Marius Pudzianowski. And you know, Colin, when you think about all of the great strongmen in the past, whether they're Icelandic, Swedish, Norwegian, this guy has won more titles than anybody, and that definitely does make him one of the best ever. Oh, it's plain and simple. He's got five titles, more than anyone else ever and probably in a much more competitive era as well. Listen to that guttural roar from Marius. How much does he want this? Well, the times have been so, so close so far. Growling, hurting, working through the pain, and Marius Pujanowski has got it all. He's got the physical equipment. He's certainly got the motivation. It's going to be close again. Watch the clock. Just over 40 seconds, dips under 41, my goodness, it's close again. <laughs> Marius Pujanowski, 40.91, but that is only good enough for fourth place. Such is the standard that has been set. Work done equals energy transferred, and that's because to do work, you need to transfer energy. The energy that gets transferred is usually your chemical energy into movement energy if you're moving something. Your chemical energy comes from the food that you eat, or into gravitational potential energy if you're lifting something. If I walk up the stairs, I will do work against gravity. The force that I'll need to lift is my weight, so I need to know how much I weigh. I hope I haven't put weight on over the summer. So there's the scales calibrated at zero to avoid a zero error. Eight hundred and ten newtons. Whether I walk up the stairs fast or slow doesn't matter. I'll still be lifting the same amount of weight, which is the force, and I'll still be moving the same amount of distance. However, to work out how powerful you are, you need to know how much work you've done and how much time it's taken you to do that. Here's the stopwatch. Since work done equals energy transferred, then I'll be transferring the same amount of energy or doing the same amount of work, but I'll be transferring more energy per second. Something that can transfer more energy per second is more powerful. If I walk up these stairs, I'll need to do work against gravity. That's only one flight of stairs, there's another five to go. I've measured my weight, that's the force that I'll be lifting as I go up the stairs. What I need to do now is measure the distance or the height of each stair. There are 48 steps in total. Each step is 17 centimetres. 17 centimetres is 0.17 metres. So if I do 48 steps times by 0.17 metres, that will come out as 8.16 metres. Now that is the vertical height 
then I'll be lifting my weight in total. Now it doesn't matter if I'm walking up the stairs or if I'm running up the stairs, it's still the same force that I'm lifting, my weight, and it's still the same total distance that I'm travelling. So it's still the same amount of work that I'm doing. If, however, I do that work in a faster amount of time, then I'll be more powerful. So here I go up the stairs. Right, made it at the top. All right, here we go. Ready, steady, go. What the bollocks! Shut it. The energy that gets. See my video about power. Well.